who am I? Um, well, actually, my role at Microsoft is I'm the AVP, they say, Area Vice President for Germany, meaning Germany is one of the 14 areas we have worldwide, uh, which means I'm also the Managing Director of Germany, <laughs> which is kind of my second role. Um, my boss would probably define my role as Chief Customer Officer, Chief um, People Officer, Chief Innovation Officer, combined with um, Chief Success Officer. So um, it's a pretty comprehensive role. What did I do before? I did many things, actually. So I'm one of those people who've actually done sort of a, well, done a variation of roles in industries. Um, started off actually in IT, where I'm today. Um, I went into consulting, management consulting. Um, did do venture capital as well. Um, and then went full circle back into IT. So I've done many things, actually. And um, I've enjoyed them all. Well, first of all, I think we're all about digital transformation. And um, everybody's going to say, man, you know, we've really talked about this at length and it's such a old thing already. It's actually not. Um, when we look at what's happening with IT, basically in every single product and every single service, um, you know, computers all around us without noticing, uh, without us noticing that. I think what we're seeing is that um, technologies, especially like um, artificial intelligence, are going to be pervasive. Um, and that's really one of the key focus areas that we have as Microsoft. We've invested 30 years of research into that, and actually we're doing quite well in terms of sort of really holding a number of like super important benchmarks, like um, the machine reading comprehension one, for instance, uh, which was one of the recent ones. Um, but the thing really for us is it's kind of infused in every single product and every single service we're offering. So it's not that obvious, but something that's super important for us and actually a key area of focus um, going forward. And if you add to that um, the whole notion of um, augmented reality, um, the whole notion of really sort of pulling our services on cloud infrastructures together, pooling the data, um, you know, making them available for intelligent analysis, then leveraging artificial intelligence to do the right thing. That's really what we're about and what we will be about in the foreseeable future. What is sort of the essence of Microsoft? It's an interesting question. I think the essence of Microsoft, first of all, is um, I think the acknowledge acknowledgement that we're on a journey. We're on a journey to transform ourselves. Uh, we've changed our culture big time. A lot of people would know us as like the Office and Windows company. I mean, that's kind of like we would call it your father's Microsoft. Uh, I think the Microsoft of today is a... Um, company with a very vibrant culture, um, very much focused on the customer, very much focused on pulling the different, different parts of this really sort of big company with many product streams together into one Microsoft, sort of really forming that one Microsoft in the interest of solving uh, real-life customer issues, but also real-life societal issues. And um, there's a lot of work we're doing, actually, specifically when we look at our AI for Good program. Uh, we're really trying to leverage some of the technolo technological capabilities we have to really improve, I guess, life and society overall. And, uh, and that's actually one of the things that I think uh, makes this place a real special one. The other piece that's really an important one for me that makes this place a very special one is our big focus on diversity and inclusion, where, you know, we're a, a company that really focuses on um, taking care of their, you know, employees, making sure that we actually really have a very diverse set of people working for us and that they all get heard. And we have this term saying, come as you are and do what you love. And that really is something that I think is a great differentiator. Why would we be attractive um, as an employer for developers? I think um, looking at so the big focus on diversity and inclusion, making sure everybody can basically come to the table with, you know, being that very specific human being he or she is and actually being hurt and being able to do his and her best, um, I think is, is, is a big one um, that I really like. The other piece I really like um, about us, I think, is quite a focus on tech and innovation. We love tech, we love innovation, and by the way, we also love open source, which is one of those things a lot of people don't know. I mean, if you look at what's been happening to us over those years, or actually what we've been doing to reshape, I would say, um, our future, um, it has been sort of a big 
focus on opening what we do towards sort of the broader ecosystems around us. So really sort of opening up to also our competitors. So basically all our applications are running on like um, iOS, on Android. Um, but the bigger thing is if you look at what's happening on Azure, our cloud infrastructure today, um, more than a third of the workloads are actually Linux-based workloads. Um, and, you know, if you look at the recent acquisition of GitHub, I think we've We've, earned, we've worked very hard to earn ourselves a reputation as a good place for, you know, great tech and innovation coming from different places together to do something really meaningful. Pretty much all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I have to say I'm a self-proclaimed um, nerd, actually. I love, I love tech, um, even though I'm kind of officially in sales. You know? um, the, uh, the things I personally love is um, the, the whole notion of having those big trends, the, the, the cloud computing piece coming together with the um, artificial intelligence piece and the mixed reality piece. And if you look at those sort of trends and you see all those really, really exciting things you can do by pulling those together. Um, I, I personally find this is probably one of the um, best moments to be in tech. And um, I think it's going to stay a while like that. I think artificial intelligence is going to be at its best when we don't really sort of feel it's intruding, if it's something that's just there to help us to support us, to augment our capabilities. And that's really, I think, what the biggest focus of artificial intelligence development work has to be. Um, the other piece around artificial intelligence is it comes with responsibility. It comes with a pretty significant responsibility. We tend to call it just like corporate social responsibility. We think there's like a corporate digital responsibility. You know, as somebody who's actually providing that tech, um, and actually as a company who's using that tech, you got to be very clear about a certain responsibility that's coming with it, and you got to live up to that. And there's certain ethical standards that we have to give ourselves in societies. And I think if we do that right, I think artificial intelligence can signific significantly improve many things. Um, it can improve our healthcare system. It can improve our, you know, traffic situation. It can improve the way we learn. It can improve um, the way we, you know, we help people with, um, you know, specific disabilities. Um, it can actually, I mean, one of, the, one of my favorite projects is actually a project we did together with um, the um, World Hunger um, Aid Association out of Germany, Welthungerhilfe is the name, and uh, Munich Re, um, where basically we've provided an app which is called the, the Child Growth Monitor, which actually really helps to in a quick and easy way, just leveraging mobile phones, which by now in Africa are pretty much everywhere, to basically monitor the development status of um, little children and basically identify malnourished children really early on. Um, and that actually helps to really be extremely targeted around where do we have to invest to really sort of help on nutrition and where do we really have to go in um, and really make sure the children um, do get the right um, food um, and I think that's one of the wonderful things that um, uh, that 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 will that that show how AI can really help to change the way we live for better. How can Europe compete um, to the U.S. and China on the uh, race um, to digitization? Well, <laughs> big question. I think we're all sort of super invested in. <laughs> In figuring that one out, um, I personally think Europe has a couple of um, very specific strengths, and I think we're well consulted to play to the, those strengths, to be very clear about those strengths, and actually really sort of stay close to them and, and sort of build on them. And I think the big strength are really um, um, our understanding of, of many of the manufacturing processes, our understanding of many of the, if you want to call it like the B2B. Um, applications. Um, and I think also um, in our ability to plan, to structure, um, to think through risks and mitigate risks. And um, uh, therefore, I do think there are opportunities if we leverage this. I think the biggest challenge we have is, of course, making sure there's speed to market, making sure there's critical mass in terms of who's applying what and how fast and how does it scale. 
Um, and uh, I think the third piece we got to be, I think we all carry our responsibilities. We all got to make sure we really focus on not only on the risks, but also on the opportunities. That's probably one of the biggest inhibitors we have. We're so focused on the risks that we kind of, we tend to slow down. Um, and, um, you know, slowing down is probably your biggest disadvantage you can have. So therefore, let's really make sure we understand what we're getting ourselves into, but let's really sort of get into it with a, um, you know, with an open heart and an open mind in terms of the opportunity and then sort of work through that in a positive and constructive way. What do I like about We Are Developers? Um, the title, absolutely. Um, by the way, I'm very flattered. I'm invited to We Are Developers because actually it's been a while since I've written code. Um, but um, I, I just um, think it's, uh, it's an amazing approach um, to um, sort of building that community. Um, building that community, making sure it's a thriving community and it's a community that continues to develop and really sort of leveraging sort of that ecosystem of companies, um, both on the supplier side and on the um, user side, and really sort of being the community of people who are curious, innovative, love what they do, and just building a network. Mm -hmm.